Are you tired of the boring standard mower setups that we've got here in Farming Simulator 22 and you're looking for something a little bit more interesting? Well then how about this front triple mower setup by Mac Trucker 921 How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I'm going to show console players how you can set up a triple front mower. And the mod that we're going to use today is the Ultimate Mowing and Bailing Pack by Mac Trucker 921 Now this mod released on March... 3rd 2023 just remember 333 three, three. and exactly that you're getting three mowers up front now the really important thing here is that you're going to need a three point hitch the easiest way to get this combination is to go down into your mods and dlcs in your store once you select that you're going to go to these two options that you have right here now the front mower there's not anything special that you need to do with this one you can pick a cavernland or a vicon you can pick any color you want let's go ahead and go with baby blue and this pink red color oh wow yes now you're going to need the wing mower and once you get in here you can see that you've got a couple options up at the top you've got the vario bx you can get rid of that but you're not going to be able to get a swath it's just going to mow it standard like a regular mower is so i would go ahead and get this one right here it is going to cost you fifteen thousand more now you can pick between your cavernland or your vicon we're going to go and stick with vicon here now the really important part here on your rear hitch you have three different options first you can get a low ball hitch and this is going to be very important later for attack Attaching some other things if you want to or you can get a pin hitch same thing what we're gonna look at today is the rear hitch three point all right make sure you get that the colors let's do the same thing baby blue and this red right here oh yeah yeah that's perfect and the last thing you're gonna need is a tractor with enough power to actually move and use this equipment. So we're gonna go into large tractors right here. I'm gonna come all the way across because here on this map, I'm on a North Carolina map, Eastern North Carolina by Max Trucker 921. And it's awesome guys. You can get an 850 horsepower case. Now the important thing is you're gonna need a three point hitch on the front of the tractor. So whatever you get, you're gonna need about 325 horsepower just to be able to operate the mowers themselves so you want to make sure that you get a big enough horsepower tractor you know dominic's john deere would work really really well here too i'm going to go ahead and grab some bkt tires because i know those are the best ones that we can get and then i'm going to come down here and three point on the rear yep we're going to go ahead and leave this but we're going to make the same color choices here we're going to make the rim oh yeah yeah this this setup is sweet so now that we've got our tractor and our mowers what we need to do is actually attach everything and the first thing you're going to do is actually attach the winged mower backwards. All right. So you're going to drive up to it just like this. All right. So yeah, that's completely backwards. The swathers are not supposed to be pointing forwards, but they are. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and attach the front mower right here. Now you can see that my rear tires are off the ground. Um, it is not easy to turn this thing. Um, as you can see, it kind of has a mind of its own. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that you get a rear weight or um, some other attachment for it. And that's what I've got right here. I want to go and show you guys exactly how this is going to work with an, a piece of equipment on the back. Now, I know that this mod is more intended for making silage with the bales and everything like that. But I wanted to show it off here with a forage wagon as well, because some people like to put their forage, their chaff into a bunker silo. And it is absolutely possible here, especially if you're using the Omatana forage wagon i mean that is an insane what 200,000 liter capacity on that thing and the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and unfold all of your mowers so go ahead and get them lowered down we're going to go ahead and go to the back piece here also i'm going to go ahead and lower it down as well and as soon as these are done up here in the front i'm going to go ahead and lower them down so we can see that we've got the middle mower the wing mower it's lowered down now but if you look at the icon up in the top the front one is not lowered down yet, so I still need to lower it. Now, it looks like it's not going to do anything, right? It, it's all messed up. I mean, it, it's just, it's not going to work. Well, let's go ahead and turn this one on. Go ahead and turn this one on. And let's turn on our forage wagon as well. And let's just start mowing, all right? So as we come across here, well, would you look at that? It's actually mowing it and throwing it to the center. Now um i don't know why it's working that way but it absolutely is so you now have a triple mower setup on the front of your tractor you know and why would this be beneficial well 
I'm not sure, right? But I think it's really cool. Um, it we it's something that we were able to do in Farming Simulator 19, and I thought that hey, you know, it it might be something pretty cool that people want to try out here in Farming Simulator 22 as well. So I guess the last question now is, does it work with a worker? Well, let's find out. So we got a worker in there. They turned a little bit just to get aligned, and yeah, it absolutely is. So everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my future testing videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.